Hello everybody. Wednesday the 21st of September 2022, the Rail Charter Company, Intercity, ran an excursion from Crewe to Stranra and back. The train's outward journey took it over the freight-only line from Mochlin to Eyre. And join me while I explore two long-closed stations on that route and then follow the train through beautiful Ayrshire. Mossblown village and the site of Anbank station in sunny Ayrshire. There, see how sunny it is down in Ayrshire. And uh, this bridge parapet here takes the Mochlin to Air Railway under Mochlin Road. And this was the site of Anbank station. Anbank station was opened in 1870 by the Glasgow and South Western Railway. The line straight ahead goes to Mochlin where it joins the main Glasgow Dumfries Carlisle line and the line to the right goes to Killoch Colliery near Drongan. The station was quite a big station, it had four platforms on both sides of the V. Yeah, Anbank was once a busy station, although that didn't stop them closing it in 1951, an early casualty of British Railways. Next I head east to Tubalton, where the station is a mile and a half south of the village. Follow the signs to the butcher and the garden centre, or look at this map. And this is Tarbolton station which closed in 1943. It's about um, a mile and a half from the village which probably accounted for its early demise. It's now a private residence with a butcher's shop attached. The line from Mochlin to Air closed in 1983 and was reopened in 1988 as a freight bypass route for Kilmarnock. And now off to Kilkerran level crossing south of Maybole where the excursion waits in the loop for 10 minutes to pass a Scotrail Girvan to air service. And here we are at Girvan Station. Lots of railway enthusiasts on Girvan Station. <laughs> Token exchange about to take place, the train from Stranraer. Oh, an old fashioned railway operating.
Beautiful. Tranquility returns to Girvan Station. The original station was destroyed by fire in the 1940s, just after the Second World War, and because the LMS was aware that they were about to be nationalised, they deferred reconstruction until British Railways could pick up the bill. And it was uh, rebuilt in the lovely Art Deco 1930s style, which was uh, an LMS standard design. Invergirvan, mouth of the river Girvan. Inver meaning mouth of the river, like Inverness. And if you'd like to sponsor me to help me make more films, please see the link here to Kofi.